Of all the musical instruments, surely the voice is the most emotional, but the most heavenly must be the pipe organ. What other musical instrument was created purely for the purpose of praising God, yet simultaneously can overpower an orchestra? Only the organ can. The organ here at St. Martin's is unique. Most large organs, especially in cathedrals, have been electrified. That means that they're fitted with computers to make playing them as easy as possible. They have really light keys, like an electronic keyboard, and they have something called a sequencer, which means that at the press of a button, you can change any combination of stops you like in less than a second. You can go from tiny flutes to full organ in no time at all. This organ is different. This organ is like a car with no powered steering. It's exactly like it was in 1869 when it was built. The only difference is that some stops have been added and the blower, which originally would have been pumped by hand, is now powered by electricity. Watch what happens when I switch on the power. To change the sound, you have to pull out old wooden stops, which pull a block of wood that lets wind into a certain pipe. Everything has to be done by hand or by foot. If you want to change a group of stops, you have to bash a metal lever. And the fun thing about that is that in church, the whole congregation can hear what's going on. It shows that organs don't play themselves they're a real machine, a big musical machine, which has to be controlled by the operator. Because this organ is so special, I thought it would be fun to record my first album on it. It's an hour and 15 minutes of hymns and organ voluntaries. It's called Mighty Hymns at St. Martin's, and it's got some English and American favourites, and some of the very best classical pieces. You can buy it using the link in the description. But for now, Here's one of my favourite English hymns, Thine be the glory, risen, conquering sun. 